Hello everyone. It's a good day today. Hope y'all doing fine. I got here iPhone 6s Plus with low amount of storage capacity. And for this video, I will show you how to upgrade the storage capacity of this iPhone manually and precisely. According to my client, he always got a notification saying your iPhone storage is full. So he always asked to manage storage and settings. And that's very annoying with him. So, I'm here again to help our brother solve his problem. As you can see guys, only 16 gigabytes of storage capacity the I got here. And this small capacity will immediately consume by recording some videos. And you got a notification saying you need to free space and settings to manage your storage. To avoid that annoying matters please watch carefully how I maximize the storage capacity of this unit. If you guys have more question regarding to your unit. You can reach me out in the details place above this video. We can do international shipments and the repair process estimated 2 to 3 days. And the shipping period is not included. And please, if you're new in my channel, click the subscribe button and bell icon for you to get notified in my future videos. This is the hard drive, also known as Nandi C. This drive have 128GB storage capacity. So this is exactly what I need for upgrade. First, I need to remove this chip for me to clean it and to prepare for reprogramming. Here we go guys, the chip is placed on my programmer and the details is correct as I expected. Now I need to remove our client chip to save the original data and copy the original data in our new chip with 128GB storage capacity. This is our client hard drive. And I need to remove this chip with the right and proper procedure to maintain the good condition of the motherboard. To begin the process, I need to remove the black adhesive around the chip, to perfectly facilitate the chip separation. After perfectly removing the chip, I need to clean the chip by neutralizing the remaining solders, using my soldering iron. After cleaning, put the chip into programmer to copy the original data of it. And after copying the original data, put the 128GB chip to programmer to rewrite the original data that were previously saved. After the programming, I need to clean the chip bonding pads, by removing the black adhesive spreading around it, and for me to have a good result. Bye. 
After done cleaning the bonding pads, let's reball the chip and install it with right and proper installation. Alright, I have done successfully the process. Now, assemble the motherboard and let's plug it into charger and begin the restoration procedure. Okay. Restoration done successfully. Now we can see the result of our work. Let's set up the unit and see if the storage maximize into fully capacitance. I think I got a good result. 128GB is showing the iPhone details to my computer. Let's begin to activate the phone and see if it is truly maximize the storage capacity. Perfect. Definitely I have a good result. Because while checking the capacity of the storage in the settings we can clearly see we have 128GB of storage capacitance. And I think there's one person would very much happy today with his phone have maximum capacity of storage. Ok guys. This is the end of my video. I hope you got more ideas and knowledge in this short video. See you again. Bye bye.